Good morning, my name's Miss Fisher and I am a BDC teacher on kindergarten this year and I'm going to read you the story This Hungry Dragon by Heath McKenzie. He looks very hungry, this dragon. Let's see what he's up to. This hungry dragon heard his tummy growl. Someone else who heard it was a nervous little owl. This peckish dragon met a fancy fox. It turns out fancy foxes taste much better without socks. This famished dragon found a muddy pig. He dived on down and slept him up in one big muddy swig. This starving dragon spied a fluffy bear. He really was quite yummy, except for all the hair. Can you hear all those rhyming words they're using? Hair and bear. This gorging dragon wasn't feeling full even after gulping a rather beefy bull. Oh, I can't believe it can fit that bull in its mouth. This greedy dragon, feeling decadent, decided he would gobble down one stumb stubborn elephant. <gasps> Look how big he is. Oh my goodness. This guzzling dragon, now bigger than a house, wondered if he might have room for one last little mouse. This bulging dragon felt a little sick. A visit from the doctor ought to do the trick. This clever doctor came up with a plan. All that had been swallowed. Look at all that stuff that's in his stomach. So many things. Could start a belly band. This rowdy band played as loudly as it could. The music bounced and gurgled just like belly music should. This queasy dragon thrashed and tossed about. He coughed and hacked and spluttered. What happens? And spat everyone out. Everybody's come out there. What a clever idea. This sorry dragon learned a lesson true. Be careful what you eat. It might disagree with you. Oh, is there anything you've ever eaten that's made you feel a little bit funny in the tummy? Now, we've practiced lots in kindy this year, listening to how some words sound the same at the end. And these are called rhyming words like pig and swig and uh, fox and socks. So maybe you'd like to practice that at your preschool. I'm sure you already do. Thinking of your own rhyming words that um, might be able to go into the book instead. I look forward to meeting you if you're over at BDC and if not hopefully we will get to visit your preschool soon. Thank you for listening to my story. Bye.